All right, let's get right into it. First week on new block. Super stoked. Uh, so far, this has gone good. So we got some snatch pull plus full snatch here. Not bad. Uh, I actually, this is one of my favorite complexes to do for snatches because it really, it forces me to get the bar into my hip and it really forces me to leg drive. Uh, like I've said lately, right now my training, like, yeah, I'm training, we're like eight weeks out from me. Right now my training isn't about the number, like, yeah, I wanna hit PRs. I want my technique and I want my reps to be as good as I can get them. And this is literally how I do that. Just focus every single rep, how does it feel, how does it look. So, you know these review videos are important. So, we got power clean plus a full clean here. And this isn't bad. I've noticed, uh, Rosie noticed it and actually I had to, um, oh, power jerk, I forgot there was a power jerk on there. Power jerks feel good. Uh, here is, we have started fostering some dogs and this is our, our last foster. We already got her adopted. Only took me 22 hours. We picked her up and I had her adopted the next day. No joke. Uh, she came out of the, the shelter as Shayna. Uh, we called her Sadie and the family she went to now calls her Nala. So no. super, super sweet dog. Again, this is just another another dog that I literally cannot believe someone got rid of. So uh, we only had her for a few days and then uh, she got fixed and gets paid and then she went to her new owner. So super stoked about that. Anyways, uh, yeah, and bench press. Why am I benching? Why is a weightlifter benching? Uh, Literally, it's just for the fun of it. It's just for fun. I don't, I'm not a power lifter, but somehow bench is going good. Now, I know I'm gonna take some shit from my coach because Wednesdays have just been fatigued. It's, it's, it's not the benching on Tuesday, motherfucker. Don't even say it. It's literally everything combined that I do on Monday and Tuesday. So like, I do need to take it easy on Tuesdays. Um, but just uh, work with screen printing in the gym has just been like bonkers. And I've just been a little fatigued uh, on Wednesdays. Um, and it's not, not my upper body and not my shoulders, like at all. It's literally like my legs and full body. So last Wednesday I was like, fuck, this is gonna be rough. And it actually didn't turn out too bad. Uh, I was kind of shocked. So uh, back squats after snatches, power snatches, and power cleans. Uh, I was going to say earlier before we got to the dog, uh, Rosie noticed, and then we started noticing video. I've got quite a jump backwards on uh, especially power cleans. So I'll look into that and see if um, there's something I can fix or something I can improve. We'll see if this shows up uh, on these these snap these uh, cleans after these snatches. So these snatches were all going. This is Friday, and these snatches were all going really well. And I was climbing up. We've got multiple reps at uh, lower percentages, and then just one single uh, up at the top. And these these all went great. These were these felt really good. Um, the bar felt light overhead uh, in the third pull, in the pull through, and everything felt good. Um, I know that I've got a, a video of Rosie here. <laughs> me, me sitting in front of the fan because it's fucking 95 degrees outside trying to coach Rosie. That was pretty straight up. It was pretty good. Um, I like to see it a little bit longer on the stance, but Overall, that was not bad. Yeah, she almost, she almost threw it backwards. And then this fucking happened. What, what the fuck is that? It's fucking 70 kilos. Like, get out of here. I literally just stopped pulling. 
no clue. And then obviously like came back and, and got that. Um, listen, these things, these things happen. Shit happens. Um, so got another, uh, got Rosie in this one. That one was actually better than, that one was better than her last one. That was, that was super solid. Um, not a, not a huge, not, not a much lean forward. Um, these cleans. So we'll watch my feet on these cleans. I just, I don't know if this is becoming an issue or not. It doesn't feel like an issue, um, but if it's wasted energy, yeah, that's like a solid, like four inch jump backwards. So I don't know if, I don't know if I'm pulling the bar back too far or what's going on. So uh, <laughs> I had to tell a coach on this set, um, I felt like disconnected, like mind body disconnected, especially in the jerk. Like my timing fell off on the jerk. I don't know what the fuck it was, but I knew that uh, this set was going to be a little tough. So I blasted uh, probably like double the amount of pre workout that I would normally take. I only take pre workout like once or twice a week, and I literally take like one fifth or one tenth of a scoop. Like, I mean, it's a very minuscule amount. I probably took double that. Probably took a third of a scoop. And uh, I think that it really just threw me off. I was like frazzled. It was fucking bizarre. Um, I, I just felt really, really, really like disconnected on all of these reps. So that one, that one looks good. That one looked good. Oh. Alright, let's try these behind the neck push presses. You can be fucking miserable. Yo. Alright, back to these push presses. I thought I thought that these fucking push presses were gonna kill me. And they actually weren't that bad. Um, anything behind the neck, I actually I actually like behind the neck work. Um, I know Rosie doesn't, and a lot of other people don't. I don't know what y'all's fucking problems are, but this shit doesn't bother me at all. This was uh, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Not as bad as I thought they were going to be but also not fun. Like I said, not as bad. And after that first set, it's like, you think it's gonna be bad and you hit that first set and it's not as bad as you thought it was gonna be. And it gives you a good confidence boost for all of your sets after that, which is not too bad. Overall, good workout. Just felt like disconnected. Uh, <laughs> I I ate way too much. I knew that I was gonna have to lift kind of heavy today, so uh, I packed a little bit more food and I ate too late. Uh, I lifted at like five thirty six o'clock and I ate at like five, which is stupid. Uh, normally I get away with that. But I ate more than I normally do. So my stomach was really full. And I was trying to coach like three people and just yelling at people. And uh, like I said, I knew I was lifting a little heavy today. Not like real heavy, but just starting to get into it like eight weeks out. And I took like a bit extra uh, pre-workout than I normally take. I normally take, I mean like, I take such a fractional amount, like the scooper is like this big, and I take like one fifth of a scooper. That's my normal. Uh, and I usually only do that once or twice a week. I took like a third of a scoop today, and I just fucked my stomach up. The whole workout, I was like, either thought I was gonna throw up or shit my pants. Like the whole workout. I was fighting like acid reflux and throwing up and uh, it made me feel like disconnected, makes my brain feel disconnected from my body. So 
Um, I'm like super, yeah, I'm amped. Like I have the fucking energy, I've got the drive, but like my coordination and my timing is off. So I had to be really careful with the pre-workout. I can't take too much. Um, either that or else I just gotta up my dosage like every fucking day so that I develop a tolerance to it. Uh, uh, all right, let me get this accessory work done and then I'm out of here. Yeah, time for some accessory work. Uh, this shit just, you wanna roast those shoulders, this is how you fucking do it. And look, look in the background, there's, there's Sadie in the background, Nala, that's her new name. Just an absolute great dog. Seriously, just such a nice dog. Yeah, roast these shoulders. Uh, normally if I do side raises, it's just to shoulder level and coach spec blue raises. So we are all the way down and all the way up. And they're not easy. And it, it definitely gets into that. Uh, my left shoulder is like just a little crunchy. Um, just my mobility in that shoulder is not as good as on my right side and I can oh, fucking feel it on. on those trying to do that full range motion nice and smooth yeah rough rough on that but I we gotta get the job done right so we gotta keep shoulders safe and this is definitely one of the ways that we do it is doing all these front side rear raises I got a little bit of rehab work to do, some core work, and I'm done. I love weightlifting. <laughs> All right, back to you. Front squats, uh, day four on Saturday. These, I actually dropped these like uh, three kilos. I thought that I thought that I was not gonna be able to make uh, all my sets on spec weight. And I was wrong because you'll see on the next set, I threw that, I threw that three kilos on. So I think, uh, I think I did the first three sets uh, three kilos light and then the last two sets I I knew I'd make it on the last two sets so uh, I bumped it up on the the last two sets I just I had this block uh, it was one of my last blocks on Cal Strength and we had a big uh, front squat block and I for real just monstered my front squat I think I got like a we got 12 kilo PR. I mean, it was bonkers. Mind you, so the key is, I was using knee wraps. Uh, my, my knees and my legs were not in good shape when I was in Cal Strength. I was just pushing myself, I think, just way too fucking hard. And I was using knee wraps, and that's how I got that PR, I think. So I've just come nowhere close ever since, so front squats have been a little bit of a struggle. But that's it for training. Here you can watch Sadie and the monster Penny just fighting it out. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.